Biceps tendon subluxation or dislocation. We know that the transverse humeral ligament and the pulley system holds the biceps tendon within the bicipital groove and this system can be injured. And when these structures are injured, the biceps tendon subluxes or dislocates in and out of the bicipital groove, and it can give a snapping sound. And if the patient have a snapping sound, it could mean the biceps is subluxing. This incompetency of the pulley system and dislocation or subluxation of the biceps tendon may be associated with a partial or complete tear of the subscapularis tendon. With complete rupture of the subscapularis tendon, the biceps tendon may dislocate from the groove and get pulled or displaced medially. So if you find there is dislocation of the biceps medially, look for subscapularis tendon tear. 88% of patients with biceps tendon subluxation are found to have subscapularis tendon tear. Here is a normal MRI transverse section of the proximal humerus. You can see the biceps tendon appears oval within the groove with no fluid around it. Here in this diagram, you can see the torn transverse humeral ligament and the subluxed biceps tendon. This medial subluxation of the biceps tendon is usually associated with transverse humeral ligament disruption and subscapularis tendon tear. In this cross section, you can see the bicipital groove is empty and the biceps tendon is subluxed medially. The biceps tendon is outside the groove, as seen in this axial view of the MRI. So how about that subscapularis tear? The subscapularis is an internal rotator of the shoulder. There are several tests for the subscapularis. The liftoff test is used to diagnose the presence of subscapularis tendon tear. Failure to maintain the position of the hand away from the lower back, then a tear of the subscapularis tendon is suspected. The liftoff leg test. The examiner will hold the patient's hand away from the back of the lumbar region and let go. Patient will be unable to keep the hand away from the back if the tendon is torn. The belly press test. The patient presses the palm of the hand against the abdomen with the wrist in a neutral position. This is an example of an intact subscapularis tendon. A positive sign for the belly press test occurs if the patient is unable to press his belly without wrist volar flexion or without the elbow falling posteriorly. So how do you treat biceps tendon subluxation? Conservative treatment, rest, modify activity, ice, physiotherapy, steroid injection, inject around the tendon, but not through the tendon. In general, the treatment for biceps tendon subluxation is usually conservative, and you would do surgery in the form of tenodesis if the condition doesn't improve with conservative treatment. How about the treatment of the subscapularis tear? In a complete tear, you would do surgical repair. A repair may be either open or arthroscopic. Biceps tenodesis is usually done if the biceps is involved in the process. Otherwise, subluxation of the biceps will stress and fail the subscapularis tendon repair. In fact, biceps tenodesis during repair of the subscapularis is associated with improved outcome. 
Sometimes tear of the subscapularis is not well visualized. The medial subluxation of the long head of the biceps strongly suggests that there is a subscapularis tear. Subscapularis tears are not always obvious on the MRI, so you need to search for that tear in the MRI and also in surgery. Close inspection of the leading edge and the upper border of the subscapularis tendon at the time of arthroscopy is important. Look for the comma sign. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.